Okay, right now we're looking at replacing our wiper blades. Uh, we're checking to see how well they work just by, there we go, running the sprayer. And then you can see we have some bad streaking right there. And um, so that's going to be why we're going to go ahead and change these blades. Okay, so we're starting with the passenger side. And to remove these blade assemblies, it's really pretty easy. If you just turn it sideways and then just push... It's really all you need. Some of them will have like a locking tab. This one doesn't seem to have that, so just slid right off. And then be careful about setting the arm back on the glass. You don't want it to um, hit it hard and crack. So be careful there. Oh, and then you can see, I don't know, can you see there? The blade. I'm have to zoom in on that. So as you can see here, we're getting streaks because there's chunks of the rubber that have actually uh, broken off so it doesn't have a smooth edge anymore and it's not functioning well so time for a new one so we have our new blade assembly and what you want to do is just make sure that the little uh, plastic clip in here is facing the correct way um, basically I'm just gonna angle it out a little bit and then set it into the arm and then it'll slide right in and lock and that's it. Done. Okay, so here on our driver's side, uh, this uh, arm actually, or this blade assembly has a locking tab on it. So uh, what you can do is just turn the blade out and then you can squeeze your tab, push down, and then the blade assembly uh, will come out. Oh, the got stuck. Okay, so on the new uh, wiper assembly, this is aftermarket. On the original Honda, it would be ready to go. You wouldn't need to mess with it. But on this one, it's universal style. So it actually came with the clip facing the wrong way. Um, so you got to um, turn it around in some cases. And then that way, uh, it will actually have the locking tab in the right place. So that when you go to slide it in, there we go. It locks in nicely. And it's pretty easy.